Hey everybody, it's Dr. Josh Levitt here. I am at the office where I have just enough time to record for you a short video before I get started with my patients today. I want to tell you an almost disastrous occurrence that happened on my morning walk today. Now, for those of you who know me, I go for a 45-minute walk every day with my wife. The first part of it, we start off about 15 minutes worth on the way to school with, uh, with two of our three children. And then after we drop them off at school, we go for a walk up through the hills near where we live uh, for another half hour after that. And today, my wife had a nearly disastrous experience that involved a banana peel, of all things. It was almost like what you see in the cartoons. Some kid must have had his lunch open up on the sidewalk or something, and there was a smush banana on the sidewalk that she didn't see until the last minute, and her foot landed on top of it, and out it went. So she nearly went down. Thankfully, she's an agile person, and she caught herself before she fell. So, so no, great, uh, no great trauma there. But nonetheless, my wife slipped on a banana peel this morning, and um, we uh, had a subsequent conversation about this and I, I came to work and quickly looked up some figures because I remembered that scientists many, many years ago had classified the, the what they call the coefficient of friction. Now, this is a, a nerdy physics term for the measurement of, of, a, of a substance's ability to lubricate, the slipperiness, if you will, of a substance. And it turns out that a team of Japanese researchers has invested heavily uh, in the study of banana peels and the coefficient of friction for the purposes of studying better lubricants for things like artificial joints. And the reality is that banana peels are indeed incredibly slippery. They have very low coefficient of friction, something like 0.06. I have it up on my computer here. Yeah, 0.06 is a banana peel on a linoleum floor, which is not quite as slippery as ice on top of ice, which has a coefficient of friction of about 0.02 which is also not anywhere near as slippery as human synovial fluid. Synovial fluid is the, the broth, the bath that bathes all of our joints, nourishes our cartilages, nourishes our ligaments and tendons, and provides lubrication, smooth sailing lubrication to something like an elbow, finger joints, knees, shoulders, everywhere. Synovial fluid is the subject of our conversation today, and it's what my wife slipping on the banana peel made me think about because it's such a remarkable substance. Now, this stuff is incredibly slippery. Science has not found anything synthetic that comes anywhere near it. It's, a, it's 10 times slipperier than ice on ice, which is remarkable. An amazingly good lubricant and very nutritious as well. It's a filtrate of blood. And so the tissues inside of the joint capsule, that's the meniscus and the, the cartilage, the ligaments, the tendons, these get derive their nutrition from that synovial fluid. So it's a remarkable substance. And it really is important to consider your synovial synovial fluid because movement is what squishes that synovial fluid in and throughout the little cracks and crevices inside of a joint. And that's how joints stay healthy. Movement is medicine. And this also explains why many people feel so stiff in the morning. When you don't move, that synovial fluid fluid pools in the, in the lowermost, you know, gravity guided, lowermost portion of the joint. Then when you get up, the, the fluid starts to squish around inside the crevices, inside the joint, and the joint becomes better lubricated. So a really interesting little tidbit that uh, that was inspired by my wife's near miss on a banana peel this morning. And I hope you take good, good care of your joints. Certainly consider Up Wellness's product AI4X, one of my favorite natural medicine treatments for problems relating to joints, anti-inflammatory and anti-fibrotic, great stuff um, for, uh, for achy, stiff joints. And remember the story about synovial fluid and stay away from those banana peels. They really are slippery. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Take good care.